brush it onto my brows very, very lightly. Good morning, my loves. Oh my god, I haven't been on here in such and such a long time. I had already filmed videos. I just haven't gotten to editing them because I lost my little USB drive. So I'm just gonna film with my phone today because that's the easiest way for me to edit. I have to go out. So I kind of want to get a little bit dolled up. Not too much, not too excessive. Just finished doing my toiletries. Now I'm gonna prep my skin because prepping your skin is important. So right now I'm just gonna be using some cotton pads and some micellar water. My face has cleared up so much guys, like it's awesome, especially in this area because it was really, really bad on here. Now that I clean my face, we're gonna go in with the next part. I take my lotion, this is Lubriderm lotion, Lubriderm, <laughs> and I put this only on my eyes, nose, and mouth area. Okay, so I finished putting the lotion, and now what I like taking is the acne treatment gel so usually i use a clean and clear but i haven't been able to find it in stores it's been working the same i feel like my skin has also improved with this one so i think it's just like the brand wise i do feel like there's a lot less in this bottle but it's okay because we don't need so much then i'm just putting lotion in the areas that i put the acne treatment Oh, my skin doesn't dry out. So the next thing I've implemented in my skincare routine, I never used to do this, but I saw this TikTok where if you don't want to get really wrinkly, like really wrinkly in your 30s, you need to use sunscreen because it's going to help a lot. So it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, Hydro Boost SPF 50. I've heard a lot of like things where like, in order to get the maximum protection, you need to use like a spoonful or like two finger length. I kind of just apply like a big ass dot <laughs> on my hand. And if I feel like I need more sunscreen to cover my ears and neck, then I will go back in to get some. I had no natural lighting in the bathroom. So I had to come here to like this little corner where I found like the window and this is the best natural lighting it's gonna get. It's honestly not even that sunny. It's kind of just like cloudy today. So not the best. I still can't see myself as well, but I don't think I'm gonna be wearing foundation. I think I'm just gonna do my lashes, some on my brows. It's pretty much it for the day. Um, my little mirror is super dirty. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little white Alright guys, so right now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna be doing it with the Anastasia brow pencil. This is in the shade, what shade is this? This is Ebony. The way I fill in my brows is very lightly. It's if not even that like, it's simple. It's a simple, simple little thing. So what I do is just carve out the bottom. I don't really fill them in as much because I kind of want them to kind of stay natural and like yeah natural is the word i kind of want a coffee from starbucks but kind of don't want to be spending money over here so okay so that looks pretty good so a new thing that i've been doing a lot with my brows so sorry i have to kind of dig in for like my makeup stuff so the new thing i've been doing is i've been grabbing this great lash the clear transparent one from Maybelline and what I've been doing is just grabbing just a little bit of product, not too much. I don't know if this helps, but I feel, I don't know, I feel really good when I do it. I just brush it onto my brows very, very lightly and kind of like comb them into place. Okay. And then I take my brow spoolie and I kind of just comb it once more. I kind of want to try those soap brows but uh, I feel like that's gonna go awfully wrong. <laughs> and that looks pretty much all right. So let me curl my lashes and pop on some mascara really quick. And I'm gonna be using the last Lash Sensational. Uh, this is like the fan effect. Oh my God. I feel like I'm hurting my back by slouching a lot. 
Okay, so I went to go ahead and pop on some mascara. So if you guys didn't know, I have like this little eyelash box holder type of thing. Um, because I use I used to use all these lashes when I was doing like makeup videos and so whenever I go out or anything I always end up using the same lashes. For today I'm gonna be going in with these ones because they're super simple and I love them and I've been wearing them for like the past few days. I'm gonna go ahead and use the dual lash to apply my lashes. So I just popped on these lashes, they're so nice, super, 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 they're super um, simple and lightweight it's not heavy at all i have this palette right here the morphe palette i carry this with me because usually these have neutral colors and just colors like that are warm that i would definitely wear like on an everyday base look so this is the morphe 15d day slayer palette i kind of messed up this little um whatever kind of like shimmer type of thing whoa Okay, so anyways, these are the colors. I kind of just fell. So I'm gonna be using like this mauve shade. I'm not gonna put it too much because I don't want them to fall. I brought some brushes with me so I can create this little makeup look. I usually use like this Eco Tool brush. I got it as a gift. So I'm gonna use that mauve shade and just kind of go on my lower lash line and I kind of hold it down and just add some color. So if you guys can see, like I added like a little color to the lower lash line. I like it because just wait, just wait. Right now it may look like kind of weird, like I have a black eye. But I usually add some mascara on the lower lash line too. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the other eye. And then we'll check back in with you guys. Or I'll check back in with you guys. And I completely lost my brush. I press firmly into the skin. And I also like push up the lashes. <laughs> I am having a really like bad day. This lash is lifting because I didn't even put my um, lash glue on there. But... That's pretty much for my makeup. Um, oh, the last thing you guys already know, I'm gonna end up putting some chapstick because why not? If I still feel like it, I'll put like some contour and I'll put some blush. And then I have like my foundation and my concealer. I'm definitely running out of this. So I kind of need to go buy some more. So guys, for today, I decided that I kind of wanna not strain my hair, but kind of give it like a little bit texture on the top because it doesn't have really much texture. I've been keeping it up in a bun since last night. So it mm, might have some texture, yeah. But we're gonna make it a little bit more prettier than this. So, okay, it's hot. So right now I'm just gonna give like a little bit of uh, texture on like my front face. finished with that so now I'm just gonna lightly separate the curls just a little bit to make it seem like natural type of thing <laughs> nothing too extra kind of need to give this a little more shape to it give me one second okay there it is so just like that I'm gonna go ahead so you know I'm gonna let this cool down let me go get my jewelry and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna probably wear for today. All right, my loves, so I can't really show you the complete outfit, but uh, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing like this simple little red shirt. And then these are blue, but they kind of look black. Some blue like jackings type of thing. And I'm gonna wear some cute little sandals, like super simple. And this little Christmas sea mask. Because why not? So I just put some simple jewelry. These are lovely earrings my sister got me. A necklace and my Pandora bracelet. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me um, type of deal. I I could do better. I could put a little bit more 
makeup just to make it look fun but that's not the vibe i'm going for so <laughs> i hope you guys are being safe and take care i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on my next video bye